wife's always complaining that I'm sitting behind the computer. So I told her, no honey, I'm at the beach. <laughs> She'll never know. Hey, 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 it's Grips, and as always, thanks for joining me yet again. So, all right, so we're doing mask and green screen, and we're going to combine the two. And there are many reasons why you would do this, and let's show you one of the reasons why you would do this. Okay, so here I am sitting in front of my desk, and I'm going to use a green screen just here, but what I'm really after is to fill out the whole wall. But I don't have a green screen that large, and I don't wish to set up a green screen that large so how am i going to tackle this well let's just chroma key this out so we get the backdrop backdrop background coming through okay now here's a little tip for you whenever you do your chroma key get the eyedropper as close to the subject as you can because that's where the best light is like there okay so always do that never try and click on the edges anyway so we've got this uh, effect now as you can see the background layer which is basically uh, some form of planetary system coming through this part but I wish to have it everywhere so what we're going to do we're going to mask the rest out so let's do that grab our Boris filter drop it onto our footage mask and chroma key advance so first thing we do is get rid of the text track because we do not require this I'm going to zoom out I'm going to zoom right in under and then I'm going to add a spline media like so so very simple I'm just going to start on the very outer edges like this and I'm going to start looking to well obviously we need to do here so I'm going to go one back sorry so I might go here let me uh, start that again oh, sorry about that I'll restart the whole thing <laughs> you go. so let's go up to here we're going to go across to here we might go down and come up here okay and then we're just going to follow this now the thing with this is I don't need to be perfect on the edge because as you can see my head isn't anywhere close to the edge so I can just do this all right so I know I'm fully inside the green area I might zoom in a bit so I can make sure it's perfect go right on the edge like so don't worry about the black I'll show you what I'm going to do with the black now the only thing that is interesting uh, I'm going to be moving my chair so I would advise that if you are going to do this, try not to move outside of the green as possible. All right, so all we need to do now is change this black to this color green. So we're going to open it up. So spline, if you hit the little arrow, it goes down. You'll see fill color. Grab the eyedropper and just place it anywhere on here. So now everything matches. So when I chroma key everything out, it's going to look really clean. So let's press apply. And there you go. So now I have the entire wall green screened. And isn't that pretty cool? So like I said, you're going to have a little problem here with the chair if you move it too much. You can fix this by constantly adding a keyframe, moving a frame forward, and then adjust it and adding a keyframe. But you know, if you're going to do this, try to avoid this so less work is better for you. And there you go, it's just so simple on how this is done. All I need to do now, obviously, is just clean up the edges a bit. So I might quickly do that, mask and chroma key. I might go just in here and adjust the gamma. Ooh, mm, mm, mm. Put the tolerance a bit up. So now I don't have that green. Uh, so I'm getting a little bit art affecting through my shirt. So, but again. I'm not to show you. See here, I'm not here to really show you how to do chroma key. Because this one was taken in pretty poor light, as you can see. I've got, uh, there you go, that looks better. I had no lighting up. I was just doing this in a rush. But anyway, that's pretty clean. So there you go. This is how you can ma uh, combine your chroma key with your mask to get this pretty cool effect. And as always, thanks for joining.